The first objective was to figure out how to translate our learning, our case-based learning, extend the reach of the school, and enable more people to have access to Harvard Business School. And we came up with this solution. It's really amazing. It's very real. We have, instead of seats, we have people appearing on a video screen. No back row, everybody's in the front row. But it's a very intimate experience which allows faculty to have real-time discussion as well as using tools like chat and poll, using the, the uh, digital board to keep track of what they're talking about or um, explain, visually explain certain points that they're making. We're using te all existing technologies, but we're using them in a new way. We combine video collaboration technologies with video routing technologies, with LED wall display, with um, a digital touch sensitive blackboard, as well as software that serves up the experience to the students. And in addition to that, we have six cameras that capture the action in our space, as well as the 60 camera feeds that are coming in from home. So we actually have 66 camera feeds or video feeds that we take and put them into a different layout and change those, those feeds and layouts every three to four seconds. So it goes back to your point about this is in a TV studio. It's very much treated like a broadcast. It's really amazing. We have a handheld camera operator in addition to our other cameras on the floor. And the faculty a lot of times will speak to that, that camera and you'll really have the faculty talk, feel like they're talking to you. We also have individual cameras for each seat. So at times we use a, a, what we call a perspective camera. So they see the view from where they're sitting on the wall. So if they're up top, they're like looking down. And there, if the faculty looks up at them into their camera, it's, you feel very much eyeball to eyeball. If you think of a, a video window, and then it has an, a, an interface around it, which is very streamlined, which has several icons that you can access chat and poll and you can, see, you can see the blackboards actually, if you click on an icon, the blackboards expand. We ask that everybody keep their audio open and live so they don't mute themselves. They could be called on at any point in time without raising their hand. You can see people sweat when they get called on. So we do something at Harvard Business School, many schools do called a cold call where faculty just decide who they're gonna call on. Um, so you need to be on your toes. You need to be paying attention. Let's get started. How is everyone today? It is so wonderful to see you all. I assume you've all read the case. Let's start with the key decision facing. The biggest challenge and where we're very much still on the bleeding edge with technology is the communication, the audio and video communication between the system and the student's computer. It's funny sometimes you'll see people lean out on their seat and look down the wall, like feeling like they're, they think they're at home trying to see you know, somebody else in the classroom. And that's, a, that's one challenge we haven't quite tuned is you, you can't see everybody in the classroom at any one time. We control what the student sees, but we'll, we'll eventually get there and, and make it even more of a richer experience than it is now. Students are amazed. I mean, we often hear, you know, this is the future of higher ed. And, um, you know, we had a, a, a school group of kids come in with their parents and all the parents were saying, kids, you know, this is the future of education. And, and to them, it just looks normal. I would love to see this kind of learning environment scale and be used by many more schools. Even if they don't have a, the, the size of the, of the studio and um, the, the size of the people, just more of an ability to see everybody at once and um, have a conversation.